in the batch mesh example, we see just some basic features of the batch mesh manager. It's a way to automatically mesh the port, including some of the featuring based on mesh parameters and quality criteria. So I will open the batch mesh example. I will go to the batch manager up in the middle. First, I need to add a new meshing scenario. It's for surface meshing. Second, add the ports that will be used by these mesh parameters and quality criteria. Double click on the upper scale. In this example, I just have one port. In case of larger models, you can have different settings for different parts of your model. The mesh parameters. You have seen this before. It's so where we set the element type, the target length, the peak quality. In this example, I have already Set all the parameters and save them to the file. So I press open the parameters file. We can take a look at the file. Target length 8 millimeters. Features. We we'll have some automatic features for the fillet. In the model, we have two different fillets. We have one small fillet and one larger fillet. I set the range to automatically find these fillets and measure them in a different way. So the small fillet will be treated with the one, one row of elements and the large fillet with two rows of elements. Or the flanges on the outside. This will automatically be detected. The range is maximum 20 millimeters. Use two rows of elements. The holes were three different sizes of holes. First, the small ones. These are too small for the element size. So I say diameter less than 12 fill the holes. The second hole, I will use quad element zones. An element length of 5, we will have a width of zone S of 5 and the second zone width of 6 millimeters. For the large hole, I will just have one zone of quad element. Okay, the mesh parameters are loaded. The quality criteria. I will, al I will also open a predefined file. Quality. The criteria are set, it's just okay to load them. And then run the batch mesh manager. Batch mesh manager, we mesh the port. We consider all the featuring in the mesh parameters. And we also consider all the quality criteria. And then loop to get the best solution. Double click on the completed, and you can have some statistics of the.
the batch mesh. In case of bad elements, you can try to solve the problem manually. And to do that, you first will have to copy the meshing parameters and quality criteria to the global settings. I copy the meshing parameters and quality criteria to the global settings, then I can close the batch mesh manager. And I have the same parameters set in the quality criteria tab. And I have all the parameters set in the global features. I can activate the, the quality criteria by hidden, hidden. There is no off element in this case. For example, if there was bad elements, I can use the reconstruct and at this area, what we see is that Anta automatically detects the defeatering of the holes. We have defined two zones of quad elements. Let's say, as example, I can move some nodes to make them bad elements, like this. In the case of the small holes, we notice the points on the curves. This is for for safety. If we want to open the hole again, we can use the curves to project on geometry and just deactivate them. Okay, we have some bad elements. Use the reconstruct. I can use select. Part is remeshed elements, fulfill all the criteria, and the quad elements around the hole is contained. This was the very short introduction of the batch mesh manager.